So today we're going to be looking at the profile.js again and it feels like we've went through this file like a million times but don't worry there's a million times more to come. So you might be asking like what we're going to do here and the thing is we're just going to add a couple things and you know whenever I start working on these things I just have a basic idea of how the the screen would actually look like and then I just code up some really quick uh, demo of how it'll look like and then I just modify from that so that's exactly what we're doing and that's kind of like if you're working on things by yourself um, because right now I'm one man show with this you would probably want to go that route um, because what you want to do is get a minimum viable product get something out as quickly as possible and then we iterate on that uh, to make it better but that aside, what I want you to do is I want you to add these two, um, two left, right, whatever you call them, two variables from nat native base here. And I'm gonna zoom in because people have asked me to zoom in before. So we're gonna add this left, right from native base onto this app. And if, you're at, if, if your handlers don't look like this, I mean, I had them on separate lines in my commits apparently, but Right now, they look like they're on one line. So uh, if you don't have them on one line, then change it so they're all, all one-liners because we want to keep things looking clean. So same here. Um, we have added these uh, social performance competition and training change only to get the goals checkbox working in our app uh, because it was one of our bugs when we did our demo. So. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to add this get goals function. So what this does is it actually builds array. So when we look at our state, because we have this state dot competition and all that kind of stuff, um, what I want you to do actually is I want you to when we're when we're updating our user, um, we want to take these goals and if it's true, then we're gonna put it in the array. Uh, if it's true, that means that they, it's checked. Uh, then we'll put it in the array and we'll make a string out of it. And this get goals is really called by this submit function, which you have to add as well. So pause the video right now if you need to and write down these two functions. So we call get goals here. Um, that's because we need to join them up as a single string because that's how it's represented in our database. Um, and all this other stuff is basically what we get. Um, these user dot first name dot last name. That's what comes from Redux. They, the user can't edit these fields, so we just use what is uh, what is uh, what is returned from Redux. And all this other stuff that is editable, we use this state. So that's that. Um, something else that I want you to change is I want you to go to container style and this used to be something else it used to be padding top constants status bar height so it used to be it looks like something like this I already changed it but i'm gonna make it so you guys can see what you have constant status bar height it used to be something like that so what i want you to do is just change it to style status bar header padding and i want you to add this header tag and the contents within it because you don't have that. That's something new that we're adding here. We're adding a title so that on our screen we have like a title bar and on the side, on the, on the right hand side of that bar, we have a save button. So that's what that right tag is for. And for the left tag, we're just going to have a little menu that allow them to toggle the drawer. So that's what this header will that, that's what this header tag and its contents will generate so with that being said i think that's all we wanted to go through or all i wanted to go through in profiles everything else seems good let's take a look at our goals again to make sure everything's right okay everything we're using the styles profile header styles so that's good let's swap over to user styles.js so what I want you to add here, I want you to just import platform and status bar from React Native. And 
I want you to add the status bar header padding because that's what we used in profile.js. That's what we added. So we need to add that there. And the next thing I want you to add is I want you to add actually a new file. And that file is search styles.js. So you won't have that yet, but I want you to create that. And when you, when I, when you create that, just copy and paste what, what we have here into that. So we're basically just taking what we have in the other file as well. So we have login margin top there and profile header styles. So that's basically it for today. Uh, I just wanted to go through the changes that we need to make in profile.js and the styles.js for the user and the search because we should have added this in the last episode but, or tutorial, but I didn't, uh, so we I need to add them now. So with that being said, you know what I'm gonna say next? I'm gonna ask you to join our mailing list. And if you've been watching along and you've not been joining our mailing list, then what the heck are you doing? Just join that mailing list because you're gonna get some really great stuff along with this video tutorial, tutorial series to go along with it so you could actually code along with me or learn something. Uh, because doing will help you learn much better than just watching me code. So with that said, join that mailing list and please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.